Content-aware fill has been a phenomenal inclusion into Photoshop, and we have demonstrated that before. But in the 2023 edition, we have a very similar option now in Adobe Camera Raw. Now let's take a look with this image that I've opened up into Adobe Camera Raw because the tool we want to use is called Content Aware Remove. Now I've not done a great deal of work on this image. I've done mainly the auto setting and if I just reset it for a moment, you can see all I've added is color, contrast and clarity. And you can see that reflected in the sliders on the right. But the part of this image which I'm not too keen on is the branch that's showing right up at the top left. I think the image, which is a typical summer Australian scene in the countryside, would be much cleaner if that top left horizon was clear of that foliage. Well, let's see how the new tool performs. I'm going to right click on the picture, choose to zoom to 100%. Using the space bar, just press the space bar, the hand tool appears, click and drag, and I can locate and find where I need to start working. Now, if we're not too sure of this tool, then the best thing to do, I think, is to start off with a little test first. So let's go over to the right hand side. The tool is grouped with the healing brush or the spot removal tool and the clone. This is the one we want, Content Aware Remove. We have a size option and an opacity. I'm not going to change either of those. The size, you can see the brush as I move back onto the picture is quite large. I can reduce the size of that brush using those square bracket keys to the right of the letter P. So let's test the water. I've got a little spot there. Let's just click on that. Done a pretty good job there. Let's try this branch here. Just painting over the whole thing. Didn't do a wonderful job. Let's have another go at it. Couple of more touches. Let's try this one here. I'll paint down and across to make sure we gather the whole thing. That looks pretty good. Let's try these two pieces. Well, so far it's done a pretty good job. Now let's see what it can do with that large area to the right of my cursor now. Now as you can see here, I've made my brush a little bit bigger. So I'm going to paint over the whole of that area and along the top of the tree line. Content Aware should take that into account. Well, that's done a pretty good job. Now given the success of what we've done so far, it's difficult to know, because this tool hasn't been out long, whether we should do small areas like this first, or we should take bigger areas and try to deal with a problem in the top left corner in one go. Well, let's give it a try. I'm going to make my brush quite large here, and I'm going to paint down and around all of that offending twig and branch, right up to the top. Let's see how it does that. Well, it's left us a couple of patches here, but I feel pretty certain that if we just brush over these, it's probably going to pick them up, make the brush smaller, one or two touches. Control zero will fit the image on screen and a pretty good job. Now let's see how it fares with this image because this has some distractions too. So same as before, right click, zoom to 100% and I'll click and drag to find the area I want to work on, which is that timber. Selecting the tool, adjusting the brush and I can paint it out and it's done a pretty good job. Let's move over to the right hand side. This is quite a jumble here. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller, but I'm going to come down this area and around all of that timber and the grass and see if I can remove the whole lot. Now that's done a pretty good job. I may need to do one or two touches to remove a couple of areas that may draw our attention, but I very much doubt it, as you can see. And even if I did, I can turn to the clone tool to do that. 
Click and drag to the left. Let's try this enormous log here. So I'm going to paint down there, even up that stick, right the way around. Try to take the lot out in one go. Well, a couple of touches needed here and there that I think this new tool is doing a remarkable job. The more distractions we can deal with in Camera Raw, the better. But if you need to use this Content Aware Remove tool, use it before you start applying any edits via masks and you'll get better results. I'll see you next time.